girlfriend welcome back to the channel for another video if you're new here my name is Jernica Mycia but all my friends call me G and if you're returning my girl thank you for coming over here and clicking on my face oh girl I just finished recording and let me tell you something I'm running out the house G has a dilemma y'all I sweep at least four to five times a day I am not Molly the maid. I don't want to be sleeping like that. So I'm like, where is this trash coming from? It's like, I can literally see one little thing on the ground and I'm like, oh, I, I, I got to sweep the whole flow, whole flow. Next thing I know, I'm sleeping all day. So we about to go out to Best Buy and get a robo shark, whatever that little thing that be vacuuming. We about to go buy one because I'm tired of sweeping. I am tired of sweeping. Y'all, this top that I got is so good. Um, If you watch my Zara haul, Oh, I think my boob just came out. If you watch my Zara haul, I showed this top. She's so stinking good. And I just paired it with some Zara pants. But look at this. It's giving luxe, babe. I had to finesse my hair. So I have on this little Zara headband with two pigtails. Because I was like, I didn't feel like doing my hair. So my grandma is actually waiting for me. Because that's who I'm going to be um going with. One thing about my grandma girl, if it's going to spend some money at a store, she wants to go. And I ain't mad at her because I feel like going too. But um, yeah, we about to go get a shark. I need a a step stool. No, I have a step stool. My step stool is nine inches, y'all. Nine inches and everything is high. If, if you can see, I can't even really reach up here I dang sure can't reach up there. Everything in this apartment is super high. Even the cabinets in the kitchen. I underestimated my... My grandma told me to get a higher step stool. I was like, mm, I don't need it. Now we're going back to buy a higher step stool because I can't reach anything. Even when I go in my closet, I can't reach anything. I'm trying not to show y'all my boob. But I'm about to switch my outfit. And yeah, girl, yeah. By the time y'all see this vlog, um, y'all should... I probably already did the video on talking about this whole wall. I built everything by myself. I'm not going to go into details because I'm pretty more than positive that I, that video will be up right now. I'm going to see you guys once we leave the house. We did get a vacuum, girl, because Gigi is tired of um, sleeping, like I said. So, oh my God, I'm dropping everything. Um, I got a shark. Hopefully this thing is not too stressful to put together because I ain't got time. I just need something I can pop out the box, put this girl on the floor and let her do her job. So hopefully she works. If she do not, she'll be going to best, back to Best Buy. Um, I have high hopes for her. What else did we get? Um, I got some little plant. It's a fake plant because I needed a, um, like this type of, this style of plant for the bathroom. Now for the bathroom, I just wanted to feel like a Arizona spa, vibes so that's what we're going for the bathroom is pretty much done um i have to redo one little thing the towel rack but for the most part this right here will make the bathroom completely done but okay so for my wardrobe wall today i just put together this little chest matter of fact i'm about to take y'all up in there with me to do it um i just put together this little dresser cabinet i want to put all my jewelry i didn't not, i didn't realize how much jewelry i have because at home i put all my jewelry in like one drawer and everything is like piled up to the top so it's like half of the stuff i couldn't even see it so when i saw this little cabinet from amazon i was like oh i have to have it it goes perfect with my wardrobe wall it just looks so good and i just want everything to be cohesive and right now that's what we're getting so of course i have to be extra in g fashion um so i got these i went to home depot and i got some some little knobs to put on that cabinet i feel like in my room i'm going for like a industrial farmhouse chic for some reason i'm really into 
just bothering me. Let me push y'all back some more. I'm really into like farmhouse chic. I like love it, like the industrial piping and stuff like that, but I still want it to have like my zhuzh on it. I don't want it to kind of like, when I walk in there, I want to feel like it's me. And right now, y'all, when I walk into my bedroom, it is just completely me. I love it to pieces. Now, if you watch my video, I'm sure, I'm gonna just link it, about the wall. I, I go into detail on why I pick that wall, but I'm not about to, I'm getting off topic. Um, anyways, I got these little pipe drawer, knob, pullers, handle whatever and i think these will look really good on that dresser that little cabinet so let's go put these on there and y'all listen i think i'm bob the builder because i know how to use a drill babes ever since my grandma gave me this drill girl i've been up here putting everything together i tried to hire a task rabbit and to put that wall together they wanted to charge me 198 per piece when I literally did it for free 99 and it took me no time to put that wall together. And no, so now that I know how to use a drill, I think I can put everything together. I've been, girl, working. So I'm about to take y'all with me. We're about to do it. <laughs> okay, so this is the dresser. And I just think if I add like, oh my God, yes. I think, and see how, how it has like the industrial, let me see if you can see, look. It kind of like goes with the industrial pipe in there. Oh, I think this is gonna be cute. So I'm gonna put y'all up so y'all can see me do it. Okay, so update, I did not put them on. What I'm gonna do is end up getting Gorilla Glue and because to screw it through there, it's just, it's a lot. I don't have time for that. So what I'm gonna do is get some heavy duty Gorilla Glue and we're gonna just put it on there like that so it can match the piping. I think that'll make it look fancy. And for this one, I'm gonna go that way. Oh, I could go like this, huh? Hmm, I might do it like that. I think I will, okay. So I picked up these hangers from Amazon cause I wanna switch out these to these so they could be a little more cohesive. So we're gonna trash all of these and switch these out. And I'm gonna link these down below. So this is how it looks. They just look more cohesive than having these store hangers. That's not the vibe. And I don't even know how many came in here. I got these from Amazon. That just looks way better. Um, And it'll just hang in a closet like that. Look way better and more cohesive. Also, I just finished adding these um handles to these drawers in order for me to get these on there i tried to screw them and it just wasn't working coming through this so i'm using gorilla glue the clear kind let's see if i have it i think i put it up and i love the way it looks girl over here in order to keep this one molded I had to push this box against there but overall y'all i love the way these look I think it's gonna look so pretty once it's done. Once it's completely done, I'ma come back and show y'all. But I have to let them dry for a while. They say it's an easy dry, like they're not moving, but I'd rather be safe than to um, try to put them in there now. Now I got them faced this way because if you try to try to put the Gorilla Glue on here and put these drawers in there, the Gorilla Glue is going to slide down. So what I did was, turn them like this and i'm gonna just let them stay maybe like this for two hours or so while i just f pretty much finish doing everything i need to do but i love the way it looks all right y'all so i got some wall updates i don't know if y'all can see that but i just put this picture up i got this from home goods and i thought this was just so fitting it says i can still remember the days i prayed for all the things i have now i thought this was super fitting so it's two pictures. I think these were like $16.99. I thought it was just perfect. Oh, hold on. So, and if I come back, it just looks like that. Okay, I'm holding the camera all wrong. But yeah, I love it. And why am I up right now at 5.42 a.m. making a turkey sandwich? I can't sleep. I told y'all, I am always up doing something. Y'all, look how cute this is. Isn't this just so G? 
Oh, so me, I love it. Um, where is making a turkey sandwich, watching uh, Sharika be on YouTube at 5 a.m., 5.42 a.m. So I was like, hmm, might as well get a sandwich. I don't know about y'all, but something about a turkey sandwich, any type of sandwich with chips, baby, is going to hit, okay? Living spaces need to count their days. Okay, because I just got an email. My couch is supposed to come here Tuesday. Just got an email that the couch, it has a delay. It wasn't a delay when you took my money. It's a delay. Girl, I was so aggravated. And it's not a normal delay. It's like June 25th through July 16th. What the hell am I supposed to do between now and June 25th and July 16th? Girl, where am I going to sit? Like, I said, oh no, baby. It's definitely giving model home right now. <laughs> There's no, no, it's not even giving model home because model homes have more furniture than I do up in here. Y'all, if y'all don't cut y'all sandwich up into little bite-sized sandwiches, you're missing out. It just makes the whole sandwich eating experience 10 times better. And Doritos, it's just giving bougetto, okay? But I'm here for it. Y'all, I love these plates and if I, didn't tell you guys these plates are from walmart i'm gonna see if i can link them down below i got these things like in 2020 before i even had an apartment i bought these plates i got two um two different styles and i'm drinking lemonade and i'm about to go back and watch youtube hey girl so i just finished recording about um this wardrobe wall behind me um, I'm gonna link that above, so make sure you go ahead and watch that. I know people are gonna ask about my turban. This turban is from ASOS. It's um, it's pretty old. I've been having this thing for years, and it definitely comes in handy. Um, I'm about to take off my makeup. I think I'm gonna go work out because it's 9:58. And we got good news, y'all. I don't know if I told y'all in this vlog, but let's sit down, cause um, I was having a delay, hopefully I'm not too bright. My couch got delayed again, but I just got an email saying that the couch will be here tomorrow. So girl, I am so excited because I am literally sitting on a step stool and I changed my pants out because oh, they were a little tight and I needed to sit down. So the couch will be here tomorrow, girl. We're gonna have a place to sit. Now I need to get the TV mounted on the wall if we've been honest i wasn't really worrying about like the front area i really did want a couch to kind of like actually sit down because during the day i don't like to sit on my bed at all and this little stool it ain't working and i'm just sitting here trying to do some um while i'm uploading this video to youtube but i am so excited about this couch i i'm crossing fingers that this couch is every single thing that i have dreamed of because if we be honest i have been so obsessed with this couch for since they probably um since they got it since it was kind of like released i've been obsessed with it it is a cloud couch dupe i heard this is like one of the best cloud couch dupes and i've been seeing this thing all over instagram especially during the pandemic this was a very popular couch and i'm just girl i am ecstatic okay also i got a um luxury purchase the funny thing is this y'all y'all know g love some shoes i love bags but lately every time i'm on like far fetch or something girl i'm looking at home decor it's like home decor has literally just taken over my life and i'm loving it i'm not even really worrying about shoes and clothes i've been wearing the things that i have but home decor it is my vibe i love it and i got two luxury purchases i don't know if i'm going to show you guys in this vlog we'll see we'll see but i'm just excited about the couch girl i'm totally excited and once the couch get here of course i'll just show you guys the couch but that's cross fingers that it's everything that i've been dreaming okay because if not oh my god sending this couch back is gonna just be the worst thing possible but i'm not gonna have that mindset i'm gonna just go in it like i'm gonna love this couch why would not i like why wouldn't i love it you know but i was trying to say i haven't really been worrying too much about decorating the front because that is going to take a lot of my time because i know i'm going to be so specific about the smallest details i'm already like going above and beyond already so what i did was i completed the bathroom the bathroom is completely done the vibe that i was going for in there was like a, a arizona 
luxury spa and I think I did pretty good. It's so cozy. I love a cozy, clean, airy bathroom. That's the vibe that we went for in there. The bathroom is completely um, finished. And my room was the second room that I wanted to do. The, this wall was like the, I'm not gonna say the hardest part, but the more, more detailed part in the room. So that's done. For my bed, I purchased a brand new bedding. Um, I got a full linen comforter. Girl, it is absolutely to die for. It's beautiful. Um, I got a new headboard, which I love. Basically, I'm almost done a room. I, my, I, get a, uh, I get a Target package in tomorrow, and I ordered a storage bin. It is kind of like a CBD, CBD child, CB2 dupe, because the CB2... They wanted, I think, $6.99. I wasn't willing to pay $6.99, $700 for a bench. So I went to, lately, y'all, Target have really good home stuff. But what I found out, they have nice stuff in store, but you have to shop a lot of their pieces online because they have a lot of online exclusives. So I found this little bench, and the bench is literally gorgeous. Let's hope that it is as amazing in person. That comes tomorrow. I have another... Basically, tomorrow, my bedroom should be completely finished. Only thing I'll have to do is add like a rug in front of the bed and I have this cool as a lamp that I wanna see if I, how I can work with it. But it's so modern, it's so dope and I really want it. So that'll be the last two. But for the most part, the bedroom, oh, and the curtains, girl. I don't have curtains in the bedroom yet. I do have the bar, or the curtain rod, but I, found some curtains they're like linen and the it's like a very light cream slash oatmeal color i really like those and i'm gonna get those for that airy vibe so i'm waiting for those to come in i'm waiting for an amazon package a target package and the couch so i'll just show you guys as stuff come in and i'm about to finish doing this and i will talk to you girls later so this is the bench from target i think it looks super super good Hold on, let me back up. Oh, and this is one of the luxury purchases. So I have been wanting this pillow since maybe 2019. I was in New York and I went to the um, Gucci store in Soho. I believe it's on Rooster Street in Soho. One of my favorite Gucci stores. I was like, I need this pillow. But at the time, I just couldn't, I didn't have a, a good enough excuse to buy it for the price. Um, I like this side. Well, first of all, I got it because I just was like, it's, first of all, it's so fitting. It's fabulous. G there's jeeps on it of course i need it um i don't love this side it's giving your grandmother's random couch however i do like the black trimming not really my fave and on the bottom they just have the gucci tag um most likely never gonna wear or wear it <laughs> use it on that end i did pick this up from um the gucci website um i'm gonna link it down below and it, i also saw it on farfetch i originally had it in my farfetch but I decided not to get it from Farfetch because it was a little upcharge on Farfetch. So I just went to Gucci and I purchased it. It was time. And it just, it's right above this mirror. So I just thought it was really nice. Now this is the little storage bin that I picked up from Target. I don't know if you can see the details, but I actually really, really love it. It is a dupe to a CBD. Girl, why do I keep saying CBD? CB2 um, storage bin. So... This one was 180. I feel like it did the, definitely did the um, the job, especially for what I needed for. Y'all know I told y'all I don't have. I told y'all I don't have a lot of storage in this apartment, so this thing does open up. I'm gonna keep like a lot of my night clothes and lounge clothes and pajamas because I have a lot of pajamas, and I'm thinking about getting another one of these but not exactly the same one maybe for like the living room to keep extra blankets and things like that but i don't know if you can also see the texture let me see it's a textured bench y'all i love it i'm happy they didn't do like a velvet i feel like this fabric just makes it a little more modern a little more easier to style in different spaces i absolutely love like this detailing that they did on it now this rug is a rug that I had at home, this would not be here anymore. I just have it down there, it's like a temporary situation. 
but yeah girl this is the vibe and i think it looks really really good oh it's not centered but yeah you get the vibe and it's very light it's easy to move over if you need to move it when i'm recording i know i'm going to use this space like to set up my camera sometime when i want my wall to be the backdrop so this right here is super easy like watch to like just move like with no issue but yeah girl this is it i would highly recommend this for anyone who needs like a little more space and storage absolutely love it i'm going to constantly switch things around and move it maybe in the fall i'll throw like a blanket over this thing but i just wanted you guys to see it because i absolutely love it i love the texture everything about it it's easy to wipe off so yeah just now making it back inside y'all my neighbor has a dog that just do not just do not stop barking and it's like really annoying <laughs> but i thought we should do a mini trader joe's haul i purchased these flowers from trader joe's when i first moved here i've been here for about two weeks and they're just now dying so I, and they have like nets so i'm ready to throw those out um so i end up getting some of these Oh, they've been in a car, girl. So, we're going to mix these. I think these are so pretty. I'm not really like a roses type girl. I like daisies and things like that. I really enjoy colorful flowers. Oh, my God. These are about to die. We need to hurry and get her some water. Um, I also got some Indian-style flatbread because I want to make a pizza and see how that goes. And I'm trying this salsa i want to eat that with some chips that i got from target um mozzarella cheese for the flatbread now this is what i'm excited for this is a cajun style alfredo sauce it's spicy and creamy alfredo sauce with bursting cajun flavors i look forward to trying this over some noodles with shrimp and like some green peppers onions this is gonna be good i hope that she's good <laughs> because she looks good um i also got the pizza sauce from oh pizza sauce from trader joe's um one of the girls in trader joe's she was like giving me recommendations she's like this is amazing and she also said this flatbread was really good so we'll see um i was gonna make pizza today but i don't have time i have to get my hair done tomorrow so i have to wash my hair right now and i don't really have time to make pizza i got these roasted potatoes because these are so amazing from trader joe's y'all they're so so good and i like to really cook, cook those in an oven oh my god i hear my mouth i cook those in an oven or um in the air fryer i also got some waffle cut seasoned fries which i like to eat fries y'all already know that and i got some vegetable fried rice now with this fried rice they have the one that you can have chicken or shrimp i don't like to buy anything with like pre-cooked meat in it so i usually just add chopped chicken and chopped shrimp in it in this
this is how the pizza came out i decided to use this plate because i was like how fitting is this it just gives me like pizza vibes but this is how the pizza came out hopefully it tastes good and i'm just drinking a glass of prosecco because babe <laughs> it's been a long day so i'm about to see how this is tasted and i'm gonna let y'all know you left my heart out when the rest of me is down you are you and Sean today is sunday and today is juneteenth father's day so hope you guys are having a fabulous sunday i had so many great plans for today i wanted to go out to brunch i ended up going to sleep maybe like 3 a.m girl i'm just waking up and then it's like 11 a.m i'm tired today's gonna be like a clean up sunday i'm gonna go um see my dad in a minute well probably after i finish cleaning up y'all this little bench it literally comes in handy to like sit down um i'm gonna go see my dad i miss breakfast because they cook breakfast over there but i missed it so i'm about to just clean up i just finished washing clothes kind of like a sunday cleanup day to start my week off right so that's what i'm doing now and i'm listening to the joe button podcast because on sundays if you know you know they release podcasts but yeah, girl, just wanted to check in and say, hey, girl, hey, whatever I do today. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this chair, y'all. I love this chair. I got this chair from Ross. It was a little overpriced. Y'all gonna hit a little sharp thing. It's kind of loud, so excuse that. Hold on. I literally love this chair, so... Oh. Why is it not focused? Okay, I love this chair. It is a folding chair. This moves and hold on. It's a folding chair. I got this chair from Ross for $79. I think that was very much so overpriced, but I just thought this chair was so freaking cute. The quality is amazing, but I have nowhere for it to go. So I originally was gonna put the chair here at the end of the bed, but I feel like the fact that I have all of this, it doesn't look good. And I haven't put the curtains up yet, but I don't wanna return this chair, but I'm going to because I have nowhere for it to go. It was $88 and y'all, the quality, everything about this chair is just to die for. So I'm so mad because if this wasn't here, I would've put the chair in this corner and I also would've got another picture of, oh, I have another picture of Naomi Campbell. I would've put it in a black frame and put it right here with this little chair situation in this corner, but I really need this stuff to stay here, so I'm not even about to mess with this. It does not bother me. However, I do wish <laughs> this corner was a little free because I don't wanna get rid of this chair. She's just so, so good. And I just love the color. I love the color wicker with the um, flooring. But I think we have to return it. Oh, also the pizza, y'all, that pizza was so good. It blew my mind, y'all. It blew my mind how good that pizza was. I was literally very surprised. First of all, it was so easy, very quick. I kept it in the oven maybe like 15 minutes. It cooked pretty quickly. Oh my God, it was so good. The pizza sauce. I didn't have to tweak it. I didn't have to add sugar. I didn't have to do anything to the pizza sauce. It was it was perfect so now i want to go back to trader joe's I'm like, what is this oh this is this eye mask y'all let me finish saying what i was saying <laughs> let me close this also i'm gonna go to trader joe's because i want some more pizza sauce that pizza sauce is amazing i used it all did i eat all of the little flatbreads i did <laughs> don't judge me but y'all i have been sleeping with this eye mask as you can tell it is so bright in here i'm not used to this <laughs> when i was at home i have blackout curtains but in this apartment i don't want to get blackout curtains 
because it's gonna take away the vibe. So I was sleeping a brand, Skylar Clean Beauty sent me this silk eye mask. First of all, it's a little too tight with this part. It's too tight and it, it's fabulous, but it does nothing. It's just still, I still see sunlight. It's so annoying. And I feel like an eye mask, I don't wanna see sunlight. So I went to Amazon. This eye mask was a little, well, I ain't gonna say it was pricey compared to the eye mask that I was looking at at like Nordstrom's and Saks and stuff. I think they were like $55, $65. I didn't really wanna pay that for an eye mask. So this eye mask is literally everything that I wanted. First of all, look at this y'all. It's beaded, it's so lush. I like how they have these cutouts so it's not smushing my eyes. But this is the thing that just won me over. So this is what really got me. See this little thing right here? It goes over your nose. So this is gonna cover any light from coming in. If you are in the um, market for eye mask, I will highly recommend this, highly. And on the back they have this adjustable strap so it can be adjusted. If it's too tight, you can um, loosen it or if it's too loose, you can tighten it up. I am very impressed with this thing. It did not come off my face. I was just like, oh, it's so, I don't know if you can hear it. They have like beans in it. I love this thing and it just fits over my eyes perfectly. Like so, and you don't see any um sunlight. So I'm so happy I got this. It was $15. I'm gonna link this down below because I definitely recommend it. I wanted to be cute with this one, but she did nothing. So we're gonna just put her away. But yeah, girl, let me finish cleaning up and listening to my pod and I will talk to you girls later. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's blind is also known as a bust down. Always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass so no. I don't want your number, no. I don't wanna give you mine and no. I don't wanna meet you nowhere, no. Don't want any old time and no. I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. I know that